Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam. Uh, so, today's topic is quite an exciting one. It's one I wanted to do actually for my first Tea Talk video. If you haven't already watched that one, go ahead and do it. It's about how to paint every day and kind of what I deal with, um, my struggles and challenges and stuff like that and how I've kind of learned to navigate around them in order to be productive in that way. And thank you to everyone who's commented um, and who's let me know how they liked it. And it seems like it was well received. Uh, it was definitely a video that I was kind of nervous to put up. Um, and when I was, right after I uploaded it, I pretty much ran away from my computer. Um, <laughs> I'd listened to the audio over 10 times while I was editing it. Um, so <laughs> it was just, it was too much. And like, yeah, it was not, I get a little bit shy when it comes to that stuff, and obviously certain sensitive topics were um, kind of brought up in that, and I appreciate you guys um, supporting me and everything like that, and I hope it did help people. It seems like it did. I, again, got a few messages, which I really appreciated uh, from that. Uh, this video is hopefully going to be a little bit lighter, um, <laughs> even though... Even though it's not, you know, 100% uh, happy-go-lucky, there are certain, but it's not, it doesn't go as far as that one, as my first one. Um, but anyway, uh, before I jump into it, I just kind of wanted to mention that i would seen a few people asking me about tutorials, um, and whether or not I would do them and they have their own suggestions for the kinds of tutorials that they'd like to see from me. And to that, I will say I have been planning this for a long time. Um, I'm still very new to the whole video editing thing and it took me even a while just to release um, these audio ones uh, because I want to make sure that everything's pretty clean and um, the kind of content that I'm putting out uh, especially on YouTube, is good and is useful to people. So that's kind of my number one priority, and it's, it's going to be kind of hard. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to break down certain topics um, to make them, you know, good, <laughs> to make nice videos, and also so that they're easy to understand and people can actually learn from them and everything like that. Because I'd have people, like, say... Uh, do one on color and I'm like, uh, okay, but color is such a huge topic and I wouldn't even know where to start so I need to figure out how to break down certain topics and um, Which topics I think I'm a little bit I'm in a better position of speaking uh, about because obviously there are certain things I'm stronger at and there's certain things that I'm weaker at and I don't want to put out any false information or anything like that. So, um, and one other thing to note is everything, eh, everything that I put out here, just like take it with a grain of salt, um, as you do or as you should do with anything that you see online or in general. Um, this is just kind of the stuff that I'm creating using what limited knowledge I have of the topics that I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah, that's it. And I guess we'll just jump right into it. All right, so um, a couple things I want to say before we really get into the the meat and potatoes of this. Uh, I love that phrase. I love that turn of phrase. Um, <laughs> or the nitty gritty. I love that too. <laughs> Just uh, words are fun. Um, anyway, before we get started, I just want to say that this is not something that I'm over. This is not something that I no longer do. I continuously compare myself to other people, to other artists. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think I would make, I would argue that it's just part of human nature comparing yourself to other people. I don't think it's to be avoided. I think much of it is subconscious. I don't even think it's like you look at something, you make a conscious effort to um, compare yourself. I, I don't believe that. And the other thing is I'm not going to 
tell you not to compare yourself to other people. I don't think that's reasonable. I find that very unreasonable. In fact, I find that absurd. I see people saying that all the time online and I think it's too much to expect of yourself and too much to expect of other people. Again, because I, I believe that it's a subconscious response. I don't think there's any way of managing that. What you can do, however, is change your mindset. And your mindset is the difference between finding a piece inspirational or discouraging. So does it inspire you to want to draw and improve or does it make you just want to quit right there on the spot because God, how could you ever get to that level or how could you ever create anything that beautiful? And a year ago, I had that mindset. Um, I still think that way now, but the difference is I correct it. Um, so the way I like to think of things is we all kind of exist in different places on our artistic journey. Um, and I visualize it as we're all on a ladder, a very large ladder. You don't know where it begins, you don't know where it ends. All you know is there's people above you, there's people below you, and you're just reaching for the next, um, <clears throat> I guess you could say it's a rung. Is that is that the right word? The, the, the next step anyway. You're reaching for it, you're reaching for it. Um, and it always seems a little bit out of your grasp. So. Um, sometimes you look up and you see someone above you and they're just so far ahead, how could you possibly get there? Or they're so far ahead, how, um, how can you get there? Uh, or you will get there one day. And it's kind of easy to lose sight of your own journey when you're looking at other people's journey. And that's a lesson, you know, I, that's, it's easy for me to come out and say that like, yeah, I'm like totally good with that. Like I've overcome that because hey, guess what? I haven't. Um, I know what needs to be done though. And it's easier said than done. So when it comes to that, still working on it. But in terms of comparing myself, I think I've definitely moved to a more healthy mindset when it comes to that. And that's made everything so much easier. Um, so it's, it's very easy to get um, to lose sight of yourself and why you decided to get into art in the first place when you're dealing with stuff like social media um, when it's not just a matter of I think that person's art looks better than mine or whatever it's a matter of yeah that person has 200,000 more followers than I have like that's not debatable numbers aren't debatable debatable <laughs> they're concrete right uh so it's that takes away from um the art itself but it, it's still very present very relevant and it does um as much as I want to say it doesn't matter it kind of does matter um in terms of how it affects you now some people don't some people aren't affected by that at all. Like they're not into social media. Maybe you aren't. Um, for myself, I'm completely immersed in it. Uh, and you know, it's, it could be, it can be very toxic. Um, when you get trapped in that mindset. Now, for myself, like I, I experience both sides of it. So sometimes I find it very discouraging. Um, and that's when I need to go in and, and correct that that train of that line of thought, I guess. And some days I just think it's the most like motivating thing, like, oh, I post a, a picture and people are liking it, like it kind of feeds your ego. And I know it sounds terrible, but hey, I told you I'd be honest in these things, so I'm being honest with you. Um, <laughs> anyway, it definitely feeds the ego, and also being able to connect with other artists, etc. Um, so it can it is very positive. So there's positives and negatives to everything. But you just can't let yourself succumb to these, the negativity of um, the numbers or of telling yourself that you're not as good as that person. You, you're never going to get there. So as an example um, of, you know, a great artist will post a piece and, you know, you love their work and whatever. Um, 
and so they'll post a piece and you take a look at it, open it up, whatever, um, and your first thought is, wow, that's amazing, that's incredible. And then the next thought is, I wish I could do that. Um, <laughs> and the thought after that could be, but I'll never be able to do that. Um, I'll never get to that level. And that's the destructive mindset. That's the one that like makes discourages people so much to the point where they don't even want to create art again and to the point where it ruins everything that they loved about doing it in the first place. Um, that like you can really fall victim to that. You can it's like just such a downward spiral spiral when you tell yourself that. And it's really sad because I see people commenting even on my stuff I've had that happen but I see it more on like more popular artist stuff um and it's very sad to see and that's again where people will jump in and say don't compare yourself to other people and again kind of where I disagree um so I do that um I look at someone's piece and I'm like oh my god that's so amazing I'll never get there and it's not a rational line of thought because the sky's the limit when it comes to art you just need to put the time in and you know it, just study hard practice as much as you can like everything that people all those like it's very typical advice, but it's, it is so because it's very true. Um, and I definitely have discovered that over this past year. So it's, it's very possible for you to get to the point, like to get to where, like, I don't know, a Michelangelo, um, would very possible, but still we tell ourselves we'll never get there, never, whatever. Um, when I was a lot younger, I was about 11 when I started, um, digital art stuff going on these like uh image boards called okakis oikakis i i don't know how to say it um i, I don't speak japanese but uh, <laughs> anyway um and i would go on those boards and like it's funny to go back because the one that i used to go on the most my work is still up there maybe one day i'll share it whatever um but i would like, I remember the artists on there who I looked up to so much. And honestly, they weren't that far ahead of me in terms of skill. Like, it was very... I, I could say objectively that, like, I've surpassed them in te terms of technical skill, like, today. And I never thought I would. I never thought I'd be at the level of where I am now. Um, I never really saw myself improving much past the point where I was. Uh, or doing the type of work that I'm doing. Or, um, you know being comfortable with certain programs or whatever, but it's very possible. Um, but at the time, you don't see it. So you just kind of have to remember that you have limitless potential. Um, you really, really do. But anyway, so when I, I would, I would have that line of thinking where it's like, I'll never get there, I'll never get there, whatever. And then at a certain point, I made a conscious decision to stop myself the moment I could identify the moment that my conscious mind could identify my subconscious kind of saying no no you can't do it the moment that happened I would stop myself and I'd be like no you can get that good you know you can do whatever and this is how you do it like so come up with like a plan of attack because it's it's not enough to say I will get that good like, yeah, sure, you can say it, and um, it is very satisfying to say it, or like post on social media, like, yeah, I'm going to get better at doing landscapes this year, I'm going to get better at anatomy this year. It's like, that doesn't count, that doesn't matter, it doesn't matter until you, you do it. Like, nobody cares if you say you're going to do it, you have to actually do it. Um, and so that's kind of it, I guess, right? Um, so after a while, anyway, um, I stopped having to so like forcefully um tell myself that i i will do it and this is how i do it um it it started to become easier it's almost like my mind was correcting itself um because it was becoming a new habit and although i still do kind of confront those feelings it's a lot less um overwhelming those feelings um, 
it's a lot easier to manage and I mean I'm still having to do it but it's still becoming less and less of a problem and that's kind of all there is to it um, and another thing to keep in mind is it really doesn't matter how successful or how good you are at drawing or painting or whatever it's as artists we're always like we can never be satisfied with our level our skill level or our um, how many followers we have or anything like that we're never gonna be satisfied with that um, the moment that you quote unquote you know that you level up you're reaching for the next you know rung on that ladder like the moment that you've like you know you spent months and months and months practicing uh, hands or something like that and finally you feel like you've got a good handle on it and you've leveled up so you've been reaching for that bar the whole time and you slowly pull yourself up you finally make it and the moment that happens you you find yourself staring at the next level and it's like there's always something to be done you're always needing to improve um i mentioned michelangelo a second ago and i went to the AGO and I had an exhibit featuring his work and right before you hit the gift shop right as you're exiting the um the gallery there's in giant letters a quote and the quote said I'm still learning and like I just I got goosebumps I got goosebumps I don't know if it was like one of those things where it's you hear it at the right time or whatever but it just hit me so hard it like really I don't know it and I still think about it all the time and I could not do this video without mentioning that because I thought that was like the most incredible thing. So very, like so humbling to, to see that. Um, so yeah, bear that in mind. Doesn't matter, like point any artist out of the crowd, like, and I can promise you that they're still having these thoughts that they're comparing themselves to other people. And guess what? If we weren't making these comparisons, we wouldn't have improved and the death of an artist is stagnation. Um, that is to say, when you cease to improve, when you settle for being at whatever level you're at, um, and you stop striving for better. So those comparisons and all that, all of like all of the times that you're down on yourself for something, um, for how can I say that? All of the times that you're kicking yourself for not being able to do this or you know you're tearing tearing yourself apart whatever and like it's definitely you know the agony and the ecstasy but like there's no there's no way that we'd improve um or develop as people if we didn't do that there's absolutely no way because if we were fine like if we were happy with how our art was completely happy then um it wouldn't improve and to be honest with you, there's artists out there who are completely happy with where they're at, um, and they, you know, you say, someone points out an anatomical flaw in their piece, and they say, it's just my style, and they're happy with it, and you see those same artists years down the line, and I swear to God, I, I have seen artists with that mindset. I look back on them now, like years later, years, years later, and they're still doing the same work they were doing then. Um, so there's an upside in beating yourself up. And I'm not saying beat yourself up on purpose, but just know that as long as it's pushing you to get better, as long as it doesn't break you and it doesn't um, make it so that you give up, you know, as long as it, it keeps you moving forward um then I think it's a good thing so kind of I don't know I don't know if anyone how many people <laughs> would approach it this way I, I've never really seen um seen that but uh I think more people should think about it in that way I think you know there's an upside to everything we struggle so much uh in life you know there's so many challenges in life that you need to be able to understand maybe why some of that stuff happens and uh, it makes it a little bit easier to cope with it on a day-to-day -day basis but anyway that's that's my um, 
that's my tea talk with you. I would like to know, however, in the comment section below, um, how you overcome that, how you, um, not how you stop comparing yourself to others, but how you've made it, um, it made it into a good thing or how, how you cope with that and how you navigate around that because I'd be very interested maybe you have a complete maybe you totally disagree with everything I'm saying if you do I'd love to hear why um, and make sure you subscribe because there's gonna be lots of good stuff on the way I already mentioned in the beginning of this video but uh, I'm gonna keep doing these type of videos uh, I hope you enjoy the speed paint that's going on in the background I haven't even talked about that um, and there's other types of videos that will be coming your way and other types of content and stuff and follow me on social media because I post lots of my work all the time. I post too much work all the time for my own good but yeah that's it um, and of course I will leave you with one last thing which is be kind to yourself and never stop creating.